Friends, welcome once again. I'm your host, none other than Mr. Spotter Fred. I'm happy to meet you once again. This session today, we want to continue from what we did last time. Remember last time we, were, we introduced uh, accounting for banks or preparation of financial statements for banks and other financial institutions. We looked at some of the definitions. We introduced the objective of IS30 and we looked at uh, some of the definitions. We, 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 we then looked at uh, the disclosure requirements and the preparation of the financial statements. In fact, we even prepared a financial statements format that will be required or expected of you. Now, today, this session today, we want to look at uh, a, a practical example in a, an exam setup and see how far or what we will be expected to do if in an, we are in an exam room. So we are talking about, remember, we are still talking about financial reporting and we have been looking at IS30. IS30, this is banks, banks and other and other financial and other financial institutions. In institutions, this is what we have been looking at. Now, we want to look at an illustration. This session is for an illustration. We want to look at an illustration. And um, this is a question that was examined. Is a question that was examined, a question that was examined some years ago. Uh, it was examined somewhere in December 2007, but we have made it to be to represent the current status. Now, this is a bank. These are financial extracts of a bank, and that's what we want to do. So don't forget, when we come to the financial statements of a bank, you mainly be required to prepare the statement of profit or loss. You'll be required to prepare the statement of financial position. But in most cases, you're not told to prepare the notes to the financial statements. Now, here it goes. The following list of balances was extracted from the books of BD Bank Limited as of 31st December 2016. We have a cash and balances with Central Bank of Kenya. We have the government securities. We have the deposits and balances due from other banking institutions. We have other investments. We have interest receivable. We have and other assets. We have advances to customers. We have amounts due from other companies. Property plan equipment. We have interest income. There is a staff cost, director's fees, maintenance of equipment, depreciation expenses, auditor's fees, contribution to deposit protection fund, operating lease rentals, legal and professional fees, other operating cost fees and commission income, foreign exchange income, other income, provision for bad and doubtful debts, income tax expenses, interim dividend paid, interest expense savings account, fixed deposits, current accounts, and others. Customer deposits, we have deposits and balances due to other banking institutions. We have interest payable and other liabilities. We have ownership capital. Revaluation reserve, we have retained profits as at 1st January 2016. We have acceptances and letters of credit, foreign exchange forward contract. Additional information. One, the directors have proposed a final dividend of 1234 million. Two, the bank had guaranteed customers a total amount of 4863 million and a commitment to lend of 550.77 million as of 31st December 2016. Required one. Statement of profit or loss account for the year ended 31st December 2016 and statement of financial position as of 31st December 2016. That's exactly what we need to do. That's for 10, 10 marks. That's 20 marks. Now, if you are to prepare a statement of profit or loss account, or a, profit, a statement of profit or loss account, friends, you need to remember the order. We need to report the interest income. Then we need to list the interest expense. We get the net interest income. Then we add an interest income. We list an interest expenses to get the profit before tax. Then we list the tax. We have the profit for the year. We add the we less the dividend paid. We have the retained earnings brought down. Then we get the retained earnings carried down. If you are preparing a statement of financial position, remember, according to IS30, paragraph 18, remember that we need to recognize 
the assets and uh, liabilities in their liquidity, in their liquidity form. Meaning, we are going to have the assets and liabilities from the most liquid to the least liquid. So we have the assets and liabilities and the shareholders' equity. That's not a big problem. These items, we can analyze them first. Like now from the beginning, we have the cash and balances. If you look at them, cash and balances with Central Bank of Kenya, up to the point of property plan equipment, those are only assets. And in fact, they are already from the most liquid to the least liquid. So we are going to arrange them that way in the statement of financial position. We have the interest income. There's the loans and advances to customers. There's the treasure bills, advances to other banks and other debt securities. To get the gross income, those are the elements we are going to add together. Then we have the staff cost, that's an, an interest expense, director's fees, maintenance, depreciation, auditors, contribution, operating lease, legal and professional fees, other operating costs, that is non interest expenses. We have uh, other, uh, we have fees and commission income, then there is also fee foreign exchange income, then other income, that's an interest income. There is provision for bad and doubtful debts, that's an interest expense. We have income tax expense, we have the interim dividend paid, we have the interest expense, and we have the savings account, fixed deposit, current accounts, and others. Those are interest expense that will be adjusted to determine the net interest income. Customer deposits, that's a, a liability. Deposits and balances due to other banking institutions, that's a liability. Interest payable and other liabilities, those are liabilities. Ownership capital is equity. Revaluation reserve is equity. Retained profits is equity. But we have acceptances and letters of credit. That's an off-balance sheet item. Foreign exchange forward contract is a, an off-balance sheet item. Additional information number one, the directors are proposed a final, that's a post, that's an off-balance sheet item. Number two, the bank had guaranteed customers a total amount of 46.3 million and had commitments to lend. You know, they're guaranteed and they have commitment. Those are guarantees and commitment to lend. Those are off-balance sheet items. Now, without wasting time here, friends, we need to prepare these items. So you come and say, we need to prepare the statement. We need to prepare the statement. Uh, the, com the, 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 the bank is BD. Is BD Limited Bank. BD Bank Limited. Let me say that. BD Bank Limited. Statement of profit or loss account for the year for the year 31st no it's not that yeah it's the first december true 2016 so i have the two columns the figures are millions so we start with the interest income Interest income, we have uh, loans, interest on loans, and advances. Interest on loans and advances. We have interest on loans and advances to customers. To customers. The figure I have there is 6688. We also have interest on treasure bills. These are government securities. Interest on government securities, that's treasure bill, 3,113. Then we have advances to other banks. Advances to other banks, we have 329. Other debt securities. Then there is 120. At that point, I'll take my calculator and add those items. I'll come and say there is 688 plus the 3113 plus the 329 
plus the 120, I'm getting 10, 250. Then I proceed to that one I call it gross interest income. Then we less interest expenses. Interest expenses. We less the interest expenses. The interest expense, there is interest expense on savings account. The figure down there is uh, 2214. There is uh, on fixed deposits. That comes to 804. There is uh, current accounts. The current accounts, 293. There is also others. Others is 180. So I get my calculator and get the subtotal for those items. 2214 plus 804 plus 293. Yeah. Plus 293 plus 180. And that is, we have 34.91. So I subtract that. Then I get 67.59. We call that a net interest. Net interest. Net interest income. So the net interest income. Then we move on further. We talk about um, we talk about adding. We add an interest. An interest. An interest income. An interest income is items like fees. We have fees and commissions. Fees and commissions income, I'm seeing a figure of um, 22.55. We are also looking at foreign exchange income. We are seeing a figure 11.85. There's also other incomes. Other incomes, I'm seeing a figure of 111. Then we get the total income. So I take my calculator and add those items. Thank you.